Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been preparing for this for the past four years. Uh, every time there is an economic slowdown, agents leave the business. Okay. Uh, so time will tell, but don't be surprised if you, if you see over the next two or three years that, you know, 80% of the agents are no longer in business. Now, if those agents leave the business, who do you think is going to take that market share? You made a comment that really struck me because I've always, I've always admired you for kind of getting out ahead before many other people really created teams. And you mm -hmm. talked, you were one of the first agents in this market to be very vocal publicly about why the team concept and the team formation is going to be so much stronger and more efficient for conducting real estate and collaborating together and serving first and foremost, serving the consumer. And now in this market, more than ever, I think a team, if you were, if you were part of a team, things are really rolling for you. And if you're not, it's very, it's a very isolated and kind of tough position to be in. So talk to me a little bit about that, Kevin, and, and your vision and how you saw that a while ago and how it's been, how that's been playing right now in this, in this current environment. It's a great question, Arjun. And you know, you were there at the very beginning. Uh, we talk about education and it's interesting because educators and academics, they will uh, develop an opinion. They'll, they'll, they'll develop a position and they'll argue over it. Mm -hmm. But an entrepreneur will take a position and then bet on it. So this is something that I bet on really early, uh, just kind of seeing the trend in other industries and how they would apply to real estate eventually. I always knew that the future of real estate practice was going to be teams and technology. There's no way an individual agent can compete with a top performing team. And uh, if anything, this current market has exposed that. In fact, we always knew a slowdown was going to come. Uh, it was long overdue. And in some ways, this pandemic was just kind of an excuse for the markets to reset. So it was kind of the perfect setup. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been preparing for this for the past four years. Uh, Every time there is an economic slowdown, agents leave the business, okay? Uh, so time will tell, but don't be surprised if you, if you see over the next two or three years that you know 80% of the agents are no longer in business. Now, if those agents leave the business, who do you think is going to take that market share? It's going to be the teams that have uh, built a systems dependent business and have put, uh, systems and processes in place to be able to absorb that additional volume without anything breaking. And it's true. It's absolutely true. And these, these tougher times or recessions or corrections end up purging a lot of the excess in both fields, in your field and in my field. In lending, there's going to be a mass exodus of lenders. And it's just, it's part of the cycle. I went through it. I remember 10 years ago during the, the uh, great housing recession, and there was plenty of people that I started in the industry with and, they're no longer here. They moved on to other careers and they're doing great, you know, but it's very few end up actually sticking it out. And those who are actually serving and just like you said, had a lot of those systems in place and were very clear on what it is that they were doing because 